How's it going guys? Um, just wanted to shoot a little intro for this video and then also um, give you guys a better look at the lure that caught the eye that day. So this was the first real trip um, we made in almost two years. Um, we did some messing around fishing a couple of times earlier in the year but um, no ahi fishing because we unexpectedly had to move the shop um, last year. We had to move our entire shop and that happened right in, at the beginning of ahi season and what should have took a couple weeks ended up taking three months so we didn't fish ahi season all season last year so last ahi I caught was in 2018 before we got this one so this was, this was the real, the first real bite of the year, which happened really early. Um, beginning of March is um, when we went out. There was a there was a bunch of reports that you know the ahi was, was biting good, and I had an ear on it, and then sounded like it was a real ahi bite. So we decided to give it a try. The um, and we were actually. We actually caught the very tail end of this bite. Guys were catching, you know, five, six, the day, a uh, couple of days before. Weather was super rough though, and decided to wait it out. Um, so the spot that I had um, heard about that was biting good, we checked there in the morning, um, but the fish had already moved on and luckily I had a report. Uh, my friend was out there the day before and he had found the porpoise pile and he got some fish out of that pile. So we changed our plans and you know went looking for the porpoise and luckily right as we were gonna turn out of that area that the porpoise was supposed to be in, we, we ended up finding them. So we was one of the first boats in that porpoise pile um, us and one of my other friends and we got lucky early with with the bite so the lure that we caught the fish on you, you'll get a pretty good look at it um, in the actual video but I just wanted to show it to you guys this this h1 Darth Vader you know black on the top purple on the bottom the report was it was the bite was black silver um, and dark purples. So anytime I hear black silver or um, anything dark, then this this will be my go-to lure. And most times, from what I hear, when they are feeding on dark stuff, then that means they're feeding on eka or squid or something along that lines and had this guy out on the corner we actually the rigger that we missed was on the h1 aku for real that one came down first but we didn't stick that and then um the corner went right after that and, and we, we got that fish so and then after we boated that fish we actually got two more bites on a different color this um alligator back h1 i was running the invert that day um, i don't have it anymore because one of my friends wanted it so i gave it to him but we had two bites on this guy and both of them didn't stick and then we were headed home and then we ran into a monster on the way home but it's a good day it's good to be back ahi fishing and hopefully we'll be out there a lot more this year so hope you guys are on the bike and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks. So here we are at the boat, um, getting stuff ready. It's gonna be our spread for today. Having a good early start to our day. Heading out in the dark. Just cracking, setting some lines. Should be at the spot soon. 
first spot we're going to check. Grab the tail. Welcome aboard. Yes, sir. First one of the year.
school later. Yes, sir. Yes.
We tried everything we could to get this guy to come off as soon as the fish bit. Stop the boat, put him in neutral for a good amount of time while the fish was jumping all over the place and we were just sitting there in neutral. Never like come off. We tried slacking the drag and still never like come off. So now we're turning the boat and we gotta chase this fish down. We ended up fighting this guy for a little over an hour. I wanted to just get my lure back and cut him free or not even get my lure back, just get as much line back on my reel as possible and then cut him free. But Preston said he wanted to eat smoked marlin, so.
shutting off and I didn't know, so we didn't get the end of the fight, but the fish ended up weighing 700 pounds. So that made for a long afternoon of cutting fish and called the smoker. He came down to pick it up and turned that guy into some delicious smoke marley. Oh, wow. Epic. I mean, epic already, but it's still epic. Thank <laughs> you.